Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday, and welcome back to morning prayer. Once again, my name is Landon, and I am so honored and excited uh, and glad to be back with you here on this Saturday morning, July 3rd. And there, so uh, we will begin. So grab your book of common prayer, grab your coffee, um, like I always do. And this morning, we're going to be starting on page 78 of your book of common prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And continuing on page 79, let's confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of all of our sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall pro proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And continuing towards the bottom of page 81. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Now continuing on page 82 with the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. And now we will be saying our psalms for this morning. Um, so we have a couple different psalms. Our first psalm is Psalm 137. And that, oh, if I can find it, is on page 792 of your Book of Common Prayer. And we will say together verses 1 through 6. So Psalm 137 on page 792, verses 1 through 6. By the waters of Babylon we sat down and wept when we remembered you, O Zion. As for our harps, we hung, we hung them up on the trees in the midst of that land. For those who led us away captive asked us for a song, and our oppressors called for mirth. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song upon an alien soil? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. And then our second psalm will be Psalm 144. So that's just a few more pages there. And it's on page 800. Psalm 144 on page 800. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands to fight and my fingers to battle, my help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what are we that you should care for us? 
mere mortals, that you should think of us. We are like a puff of wind. Our days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hand of foreign peoples, whose mouths, whose mouths speak deceitfully and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a ten-stringed lyre. You give victory to kings, and you have rescued David, your servant. Rescue me from the hurtful sword and deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples, whose mouth, spe whose mouth speak deceitfully and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. May our sons be like plants well nurtured from their youth and our daughters like sculpt sculptured corners of a palace. May our barns be filled to overflowing with all manner of crops. May the flocks in our pastures increase by thousands and tens of thousands, and may our cattle be fat and sleek. May there be no more, no breaching of the walls, no going into exile, no wailing in public squares. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sometimes the Psalms are just such beautiful language used, and I was just struck by that one um, this morning. Um, even though I had a little trouble speaking it. <laughs> so, all right. So uh, this morning, our gospel reading is from Luke chapter 23. And this is verses 32 through 43. So Luke chapter 23, verses 32 through 43. And if you've been with us for a while, you kind of know where um, the gospel readings are around. Uh, what is the Good Friday Passion readings um, right now? So we're kind of in the middle of that story um, with it now. So Luke chapter 23, a reading from the Gospel of Luke. Two others also who were criminals were led away to be t put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who was hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus remember all of us when we come into his kingdom. Yes. And now continuing on... There we go. On page 91, um, we will say the Song of Mary. So page 91 at the bottom, the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. 
and this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Now, continuing on page 96 with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And continuing on page 97, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. That your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now we will say uh, the Collect for Saturday, found on page 99. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now um, invite you to uh, enter into the chat any prayer requests that are on that um, are on your heart here this morning. Um, and even if you um, don't want to put them in the chat, just bring them to mind. Sorry, I'm a little slow this morning. <laughs> um, but just bring them to mind. And God knows our prayers. God knows our heart. God knows our mind. We'll keep our prayers in their hand. I know we pray. There's a lot of people traveling on the road um, or in the skies or by train uh, this weekend. And so we just pray for safe travels um, for everyone. We pray for first responders who may be responding to any needs this weekend. May God guide their hands and their minds. This morning I'm coming to you um, from the end of our hometown mission week. Uh, and so this morning I today especially pray for all of our youth that participated this week in our chaperones. Um, I just pray that God continues to guide the youth of our church 
they are, I can't say how amazing they are. Um, there's not proper adjectives to describe how amazing the kids are of our church. And so I just ask that God continue to guide them, that they um, take the impact that they have had this week in our community here in Jacksonville, that they take um, the people who have impacted them um, and take that forward and the, in, the inspiration forward from that and that we continue to serve um, and continue to love everyone around us. So dear creator, we lift up all of our prayers to you, whether they are in this chat on our YouTube video, whether they're just residing in our hearts and our minds. We just ask that you bless us, bless the people we care about. We ask you to blanket your love around those who are lonely, around those who have no one to pray for them, around those who are hungry, around those anyone in need around the world today. Let us always be reminded of your love. We ask this all in your name. Amen. And now we will continue on page 101 with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Continuing on page 102, Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me, friends. Have a great Saturday. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, if you're at church, I'll see you t uh, tomorrow morning um, for one of our services. If not, I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. So have a blessed day and love you all.